Hey guys, hope you're having a lucky day. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Ball Cherry. As you can see why it's called the Ball Cherry. Yeah, I actually need to shave it again. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you will guys will see that uh, for the people that are not uh, aware in Johannesburg in South Africa, we've actually been having some uh, um, strange weather, as you can call it. Uh, we've been actually having snow in Gauteng and in Johannesburg. So it's been a little weird. Um... So now, obviously, you guys will see that uh, I'm not sitting in my car because you would have seen the sunroof. The reason being is I'm sitting in an Omoda. And there's a very good reason for that. Currently, my car is sitting at uh, Cherry Centurion to get serviced and have her brakes checked. But the service is for the 60,000 kilometer service. Yes, I've done 60,000 kilometers in a year. So I got them just to double check the brakes and make sure that the brakes don't need replacing. Um, and if they do, they need replacing now, or will they hold till the next service? Because I want to try to keep the car as OEM as possible. I do not want to do anything to jeopardize anything on this car. So I am loving it. Um, I've had one or two little issues in the car itself, but I mean, the car's a year old. It's done sixty thousand kilometers. Um, things do tend to creep up. Which I mean, come on. If you if something doesn't at least something doesn't happen, then. Yeah, it's not, it's a magical car. Okay, so you would have seen the previous video I showed you guys about the brake lights. So that's a quick little thing about how to change the bulbs. Like I said, my hands are, as a man, my hands are small. My wife always says that. But uh, they get in nice and into the position where you need. Okay, so the current car that I'm sitting in is actually the Emoda C5, but it's the Tech, which is the bottom of the range uh, model. Um, it came into South Africa in the launch at 447,000. Um, but because of the repo rate and unfortunately all the stuff going up, they've had to increase the price. So this one is 453,000, um, which believe me, you still get a ton of spec and a ton of stuff in this car compared to the uh, other manufacturers. Um, the difference between this and the Elegant, uh, which is the next, well, I'm not going to say the next level, it's the higher range. The top of the range, Elegant S, which gives you the red um, interior as well as the red mags and that you guys would have seen. And then you've got the Elegant, which is the one below it, which is the one that I did the previous video on. So the difference between those two and this one is for, first of all, no sunroof. So which for myself, I've got some nice space. That's, yeah, I'm sitting flat up, four fingers. So for a guy that doesn't care about a sunroof but needs some space, Take the one without the sunroof. Um, the only real differences, like I said, is besides the sunroof and the height, is the all-round 360 cameras, and then the lane keep assist, which, you know, to be honest, if you've never had it before, it's not a train smash if you don't get it. Um, the one thing I would have liked, uh, the lane keep assist is obviously something I'm not too bothered about, but I, the, the, the cameras are quite nice when you're turning in. Um, I know the guys in the T8s and the T7s come standard with that. This one, obviously, the lower and then, obviously, the highest spec on the T4, the SE, or the Elites, that come standard on that. Um, but, yeah, this is the bottom of the base model. And I've been driving it now since about Hopper 7. I quickly shot through to Pretoria. You know, okay, currently State Centurion. Shot to Pretoria, had some breakfast with my supervisor. He's also on leave. So, uh, managed to sit in traffic. You know, see how she was handling in traffic, went to go, go to the wife. I'm just going to quickly put the ignition on you. So this is also a nice thing as well. So ignition, uh, where's, uh, okay, it's a bit bright now. Uh, there we are. So yeah, you've got the beautiful little ignition buttons. You've got the normal screens there. And then obviously you've got your dashboard there. So, I mean, it's, it's everything that you basically need in a car. I mean, it's got all your fancy stuff. Okay, so the sports mode is on which i'll put it to standard and then you see the nine liters to 100 so earlier i actually had that down to about 7.8 i had it on nine liters because i was on the highway and there was an audi busy irritating me so i kind of put foot you know just to get away from him so uh but yeah she picks up nicely um you see i did 33 kilometers it's actually a bit longer than that because i got to pretoria west where my wife works uh, and then while I was driving, I thought, you know, what, let me just reset it to the proper settings and then see how many I do over it. And then obviously you'll see with this car, it's got your 
trip average or your trip and then you just got your uh, average fuel consumption and then your AVS is your average vehicle speed so what's your overall speed per the amount of kilos um, where am I going I'm going into uh, yeah okay so what's the nice thing I found about this one is your normal B is your overall but then your A is per trip so if you're doing like me so if you're like me and every uh, customer you get to, you need to log a call or log a, your kilos. That'll show you how many kilos you did from customer A to customer B, um, with the amount of fuel you used. So sometimes it's nice if you need to do it for a logbook as well as your average speed. So um, I obviously have an app on my cell phone, which I do that for, so I don't worry about that, but it's a nice feature to have. Um, I mean, let me actually climb out the car. Let me just take, oh wait, keys in my pocket. <laughs> I always forget that because especially with this car where the keys are uh, in your pocket. Uh, crap. <laughs> so I'm just going to turn this around. So you'll see, currently sitting with the nice grey. So yeah, beautiful grey colour. And like I said in the previous videos, the um, grey and the darker colours just look so much better on this car. The uh, other colour is nice, but I don't think it suits the car, to be honest. But yeah, you've got your mags. Then obviously this not being the top spec one, you'll see your mags are like the top on the others, but no red brake calipers like mine. But yeah, still got this beautiful shape that is accentuated by these beautiful taillights. So yes, it is a gorgeous costal. Okay, can I see, see myself? Yes, now I can see myself. Okay, so it is uh, getting quite hot. I'm going to end the video now and I shall be bringing a bit more videos about this a bit later. Okay, guys, have a lucky day. Um, we've hit 636 subscribers if I remember correctly. So yeah, I'd like to hit that uh, uh, more than a thousand people. Um, because if I do that, I actually then I have YouTube pay, paying me. Because <laughs> currently all these videos I do, I don't get a single cent from Cherry. I don't get a single cent from a motor. Um, literally doing this just for the fun of it and for you guys. And just showing all the videos about the stuff that's required on the cars. Um, I'm thinking of about actually expanding it and doing other, other um, manufacturers. Maybe... You know pop in at BMW and say hey I'm doing this and doing that for cherry but you know what I'm gonna still decide on that because I don't know whether I want to stick to doing only cherry or I don't want to branch out to other makes but for now I'm pretty happy with the, the cherries and the motors hit a like hit the subscribe and let me know what is the best part that you guys love about your car and would you recommend it to your family would you recommend it to your um, friends uh, just look at that I mean like I was saying just that color in that uh, gray looks beautiful there's nothing else I could say about it and now with the color expanded you can actually see those uh, stars a lot more but anyway you guys must have a lucky day stay warm um, seeing uh, uh, Gauteng is still getting a little bit cold as you can see there's some clouds uh, some blue sky but uh, we're still sitting at 8 degrees, so it is still a little cold. Anyway, have a lucky day. Bye.